President Mohammed Bukhari, top officials in the National Assembly and state governors have felicitated with Nigerians observing the religious festival Eid al adha the festival is the second of two Islamic holidays celebrated worldwide each year and considered the holier of the two. The coronavirus pandemic has, however, restricted worshippers from observing the festival in a grand style. Some state governors have cancelled the annual congregational prayers, banned public gatherings and railed out safety protocols in a bid to curb the spread of the virus. So far, Nigeria has recorded over 40,000 infections across the 36 states and the Federal Capital Territory. President Mohammed Bukhari, in a message signed by his spokesperson, Garba Sheu, reiterated his call on Nigerians to continue to exercise patience and understanding over the inconveniences created by precautionary measures taken for COVID-19, especially the regulations on places of worship. President Buhari said the outbreak of coronavirus has made it difficult for people to gather in places of worship as they are used to, urging worshippers to abide by the guidelines for safety of their lives and loved ones. The coronavirus has had devastating adverse effects on our social, economic and spiritual lives. No elected government would intentionally take away its people's religious freedom by limiting the number of people that will gather in worship centers at the same time. The guidelines are dedicated by, dictated by necess necessity in order to safeguard public health and should therefore not be perceived as an infringement on people's rights to worship, the statement said. President Buhari commended the sacrifices of Muslims and Christians in abiding by the COVID-19 guidelines for the good of society, assuring that on the government's part, they shall continue to provide economic relief to the people to minimize the unintended hardship the guidelines have inflicted. Also, Mr. Buhari reminded Nigerians of his efforts to fight corruption in the country, stating that the efforts had so far brought a lot of changes in the country's polity. He appealed for more support and understanding as investigations are carried out on both legacy and fresh ones. In similar manner, the Senate President Ahmed Lawan advised Nigerians to continue seeking the face of God against insecurity and the COVID-19 pandemic. As we celebrate the Feast of Sacrifice with Worship, I enjoin us to be mindful of the risk of COVID-19 pandemic and adhere strictly to the safety protocols prescribed by our public health authorities, he said. He also said the National Assembly was collaborating with the executive in responding to the pandemic as it affects the nation's economy and the general public system.